This is the daily video update for Monday, November 9th, 2020, for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Late on Friday afternoon, after I recorded the sermon and the daily update, the Lancaster, the Lincoln Lancaster County Department of Health announced that the risk of COVID-19 transmission in Lincoln is now severe and that the risk dial that they've been publishing is now moved into the red. In the last several days, the data have supported this heightened level of risk. Over the last week, Lincoln recorded over 1,200 new COVID-19 cases, including 376 on Sunday alone. Now, to put that in context, at the peak of our midsummer surge, Lincoln recorded 359 cases in a full week at the height of the surge. That was eclipsed in one day yesterday. So what does this mean practically? I know it's tempting right now to breathe a sigh of relief. I know a lot of our members are less anxious right now than they were in the days leading up to the election next week. And I know there was some good news about a vaccine, a possible vaccine today. But neither of those things affect what is happening right now, this week, this month, in our city, in this city, in this state. So my ask is really simple today. Please don't leave your homes unless it's necessary for education, food, or medical care. Wear your mask. If you're in a position where you can work from home, please do so. If you can order groceries online instead of going to the store, please do so. We do not want, I don't want, to hold a memorial service for you because of the pandemic. It's as simple as that. We will, but believe me, I would much rather celebrate with you when the pandemic passes. So if you need assistance, this is the time to reach out. The church has a discretionary fund to assist members in need. So if you or your family is struggling financially in this time, reach out. If you're feeling isolated or just want someone to talk to, reach out. I'm here and we have trained pastoral care associates who can be that listening ear in the midst of all of this. At the church, we're battening down the hatches. The city has told us that we'll remain in the red zone through the end of November at the earliest and to please avoid all indoor gatherings during that time. So I'm pausing gatherings for rites of passage for the month, offering to officiate online uh, or wait until we're out of the red zone. Blue Stem Montessori, which shares our building, has gone fully remote. The last few things that we've been going into the building for, we're going to try and transition to fully working from home. Mm -hmm. You'll see, for instance, that the next several sermons will likely be recorded from my home office rather than the sanctuary. This pandemic will pass, it, it will, but it's not going to happen by accident. And the way in which it passes is up to us acting collectively. This is a point of crisis for our community, so do your part. Stay home when you can, wear a mask when you can't, and reach out to others in the church. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow.